Hello guys, today we are going to start a new chapter. This chapter is very simple but at the same time very interesting. The name of this chapter is excretory products and their elimination from our body. Now, first of all, let's learn what is excretion. Actually, excretion is the process of removal of non-gaseous products. Non-gaseous products means which are not gaseous, means either they are solid or liquid. Like ammonia, uric acid or urea. We know different animals produce different type of nitrogenous waste. So it may be ammonia, urea or uric acid along with excess of water, salts or the pigments produced by the metabolism of different drugs and different hemoglobins out of the body is called as excretion. So what is excretion? Excretion is the process of removal of non-gaseous waste like ammonia, urea, uric acid along with excess of water, salt and the pigments out of the body is called as excretion. Now, what is the need of excretion? Excretion is very important for our body otherwise these waste products will act as a poison for our body. First of all, removal of unwanted metabolic waste. We know our cell produce different metabolic waste by the metabolism of carbohydrate, proteins and fat. So these metabolic waste have to be removed from cell and then from the body. Removal of toxic waste. The breakdown of hemoglobin drugs produce some toxic waste which have to be removed from the body. Regulation of body pH. What is pH? A, maintain, a maintenance of the acid and base in our body. If nitrogenous waste will remain our body, it will maintain the acidic level of our blood. So that because of that, the pH level of our body will be disturbed. So it is very important to remove waste product. Next, thermoregulation. As name is suggesting, thermo means temperature. So the regulation of temperature is done by the removal of excretory products. Osmoregulation of the body. Osmoregulation means the ionic balance of our body. The removal of salt and water on a regular period is very important to regulate or to maintain the osmoregulation in our body. So here we have learned the need of excretion in our body. Now this is the excretory system. In an excretory system we have four main components. First one is the kidney. We have a pair of kidney, a pair of ureter, a bladder and the urethra. In the kidney urine is formed from here from uh, kidney the urine comes to the bladder through these ureters for some time bladder keeps the urine and after few minutes or when the bladder is filled through urethra urine comes out so this is our excretory system in this video we have learned what is excretion the need of excretion and our excretory, the component of our excretory system. I hope you understand the concept of excretion and need of excretion. In the next video, I will start with the kidney, the main component of our excretory system. Thank you. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.